Hey guys, James here with UFS University coming at you with another deck profile. This time I'm going to be going over my deck of Elagord. Uh, this was uh, all thanks to Luke Butler who said he wanted to see me post an Elagord deck. I posted a Facebook post asking people to tell me what they wanted me to see me build or whatnot. And I got Elagord, Vincent Gray, and Lily. I did Lily with Nathan, thank you. Vincent Gray with JT, thank you. And then now the final deck I was suggested, Elagord. So uh, let's get into the profile. Elagord is a 627. He is a all good and order character. He has two abilities. E, if your opponent's attack deals damage, your next attack this turn, or your next attack, your first attack next turn gets plus two, plus two. So it stacks and stacks and stacks. And then your first attack, depending on how many times it gets hit, gets plus two, plus two. I think the highest I've ever gotten it is 10, 10. And I think I lived at like one. Like, that's just because everything hits really hard right now. The two, two is really nice. Just to have a good, strong lead-off attack that your opponent, that makes your opponent choose whether or not to block. Um, but other than that, to me, I feel like it's not his good ability, despite the fact of it's his own, one of his only two abilities. But the other ability is really one we like, which is commit. After your opponent's unblocked attack resolves, play one reversal. We'll get to that in a minute, but keep that in mind. So we're going to the foundations first. Uh, we'll go on the four ofs. I'm playing four Fei Fei. Uh, we want to half block a lot, and to half block, we have to play, a lot of times we have to off block with bigger blocks, so like, we have to block on a mid with this three high, so like, that's a six on average, so we don't want that, we want to make it smaller to where we don't have to commit things, if not, we'll just get blown up, so we're playing four of this, just to nag our opponent's attacks by three speed, playing four telekinetic mastery... Uh, after your opponent makes a, gets a speed or damage buff, you check a 6, and then they get speed or damage. Just really nice. Uh, it's for when you don't have a lot of blocks or a lot of good blocks, and you just want to make sure your opponent doesn't hit you too hard. Uh, we're playing 4 Commander of the Outworld's Armies. Uh, after you take 4 more damage from an unblocked attack, flip one of your opponent's foundations, and then their next attack gets minus 2 damage. So same thing, take less damage, gets rid of a problem card, and then if we do want to block with it, it has a breaker one on it. So it's not too bad. Uh, because we do want to block and take damage sometimes, we play four admonition. This card has a one mid block, it's a zero six. So you check well, it doesn't cost a lot if you want to play it and build it on turn one. It's easy to block with, and then after you block a mid attack with this attack card with this card, it still deals half damage. So like it's still not great to be blocking with this, but it at least says your first character's ability works, even if you want to block full. Uh, because we don't want to get committed out, and because we want to be able to pass things, Sense of Morals is just easy card to play, just to make sure you have uh, good foundation support against your opponent. Uh, so we don't get turned off by certain cards, we play too loyal friend. I enjoy this card, I think it's really good. For symbols that don't have outs to same outs outs to things. Uh, to humanity sentry, it's a three high block uh, spam foundation that says you can add it back to your hand. So if you ever need a high block, you got it. Um, to what lies ahead, uh, this is really good just with him in general uh, because it says if you fully block an attack, it still deals one. Uh, so like you just make sure his first ability goes off a lot, uh, and then it's really neat. Then if you play this with a throw and you completely block a throw, the throw will only deal one damage. Just because the throw's ability to only deal half will get overwritten by this only deals one. So I think that's pretty sick. Uh, so now the rest of the deck is just one ofs that, oddly enough, I think works. Uh, one egotistical. We get hit, we draw. We get hit a lot. So uh, I always play one fusion of souls in my all decks if I can. Uh, just because if you do get to a deadlock, you can just commit your opponent's character. I think that's really needed. Uh, we're playing one serve in the outworld. Uh, this uh, cancels abilities on things like self-destruct. Cancels abilities on things like throw it down, on not over yet, on um, revoke. It just cancels a lot of good forms on non-character cards. Uh, because we play reversals, we play one secret history. Uh, we just discard our momentum and then we commit our opponent's character. Just turn off their character. It's pretty nice. Because we get hit, we play Armor Expert to draw an extra card. It also helps us stack if we're at deadlock. 
to turn off our opponent's characters, we play one Bebop Blues. Because of a key card, we don't want to get... So this cancels Revoke, and we play a key card later that we don't want getting canceled. So we play one of this. This also says while, co while committed or ready, you can just destroy it and draw a card when, when your opponent plays an attack. So that's pretty nice. Uh, just to make sure you get an extra card in hand. Uh, I'm still in love with this card at this point. So one Trusted Keeper. It just says add to hand, commit something you don't like. So you get a block to hand and you commit something you don't like. Uh, one Solomon's Teachings. Uh, it's just commit, change the speed to 3. So like if they get their speed up to like 6 and you can't handle it, just send it to 3 and then block it. Uh, we're playing one High Seas Adventure. Uh, just remove, make it a uh, flash attack. Pretty simple. Uh, cover. This one's, the, this one's the one that I think I go in between and out of. Just because you never know if your opponent has all enough attacks left or not. But first E, you remove it if you have 10 or fewer foundations. You reduce this attack's damage to zero. And then your opponent's next attack gets plus X. X equals the printed damage of this attack. So like on your opponent's last attack, this is fine. You remove it, their attack's going to deal no damage, it's great. But if like they have just some beanie attack that they can commit out for, it might get rough. Uh, so now we're going to go on to the actions and assets. Uh, we're playing two Templar, uh, because sometimes you just want to live a little bit and get more cards in your hand, so half block, gain two, draw two, take your damage, why not? Use Allegor, get your stuff off. Uh, because we do like to take damage and from unblocked attacks, we play two Hanya, just to make sure we, uh, plus one of their difficulties. It's pretty nice. Uh, there's a few weapons in here, there's actually mostly weapons, sick. I didn't even realize that, I wasn't planning for that ability. So, like, you can use it on your, you can use it multiple times. Uh, because we do like to get we so because we, we do like to tank with our face, we play four deliverance. Uh, this just says you, your opponent's unblocked attack goes to four, which is pretty sick. Unless you're playing against Siegfried, who says you can't reduce their damage. So then you have to think very wisely. Uh, so now we're getting to the attacks. Um, I'm currently in love with this card. And I think it does a lot more than it, than it does a lot for what it's supposed to. Uh, Akimbo, it's, um, check a five, draw one card for each foundation or card pool. So, like, you can build two, play this, check a five, commit one, check a five, draw two with Akimbo, and then basically replace your hand. And then it gets plus X damage for the first card in your card, the, equal to the control of the first card in your card pool. So, like, a lot of times it ends up being a 3-8 that drew you two cards, which I think is really good. If not, it's just a, like, I think, like, on a cool attack turns, it's, like, if you have nothing but attacks... It's like a 3-6, which still isn't that bad. Like, and then your opponent has to decide if they want to block it. Same thing with, like, Syndicate Slice. Your opponent has to decide if they want to block this or not, if it's just free damage. Your next check's going to get plus one, so it basically ignores this card. And if they block it, you'll draw. So your opponent either takes four or you, you draw an extra card. Uh, I'm really enjoying this deck with cards that replace itself. Uh, because we make them make a choice on whether or not to block, for when they do block, we play Sagaki Offering. Uh, discard the one card in their card pool. This attack will get plus X plus X equal to the block mod. And then check a four draw card. So it gives a, it tries to get another card and it punishes them for blocking. I still think Sagaki is really good right now. It just depends on the deck you're playing. Uh, we're playing one Chris Platt. Uh, it's good as the one of the Elagor can play. It's good as a one of reversal that Elagor can play. It's good in the one, uh, one during the attack turn to make your next card ignore it. It's just all okay, decent. There, I'm going in between love and hate with this card right now. Because uh, sometimes it feels worth it. Like just super hella worth it. And then other times it's like, I wish I had something else. Uh, we're playing two Plant Berry to put things on the top of our deck. Uh, we play a few cards that draw cards. So we can also pick things up that we draw. It has Breaker 1. It's a zero mid block. So we take that partial with Elagor. But the main point is to stack something on top of our deck to pass the R commit for Elagor, because you still have to pass the check on the card. So you block with that, stack something, and then you play one of these two cards, Guardian Slasher, pay four, end your opponent's attack turn. If they block it with a non-attack card, it comes back to your hand. Or, Violent Tatsumaki, remove your hand, stack two, car, stack two cards from the top of your deck to Momentum, multiple two. So basically you either multiple two them on their turn, or you turn off their turn. These are the two main cards we play with Elagor's ability. Uh, because he says just play one reversal, he gets around this deadlock ability as well. 
It's like your opponent doesn't have to be a deadlock to play this, because you just play one reversal. So since it has the reversal keyword, you get to play it. That's thanks to Jasko's new ruling during the last LGR update, which is pretty sick. Uh, I, I saw that and was instantly in love with the fact that they did it. It makes some really fun things. Like, you can also do it with, like, uh, Overpositor. can also do it. Uh, I want to play Tatsumaki because multiple two on your opponent's turn is pretty funny. Uh, in this deck, sometimes it doesn't gain you a lot. Um, we I need I wanted to find a way to do it, but I was enjoying the way this deck was working, and I didn't want to change it too much before doing a profile on it. Um... Oddly enough, I have not won many matches, sorry to say. I, I was trying, but like, uh, I'm mostly playing against uh, Akuma, and I'm mostly playing against Jackie, and I'm playing against, so Jackie uses out of your league and cancels me, and then I'm playing against Akuma, so he's like, I can never pass this. I'm playing against mostly just Soul Calibur right now, because that's all they're testing for. It's not as fun. But I'm also testing Soul Calibur, so I guess it's okay. But, yeah, guys. Well, guys, that was the profile. Thank you for checking it out. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe on the YouTube channel. Make sure to uh, hit us up on Facebook, Discord if you want to talk to us. Um, uh, go to our Patreon if you want to support us. Patreon.com slash UFS University. We'll, we really love it. Uh, uh, really comment, please. I love reading the comments. They really tell us what we need to work on, what you'd like to see in general. Um, these were all character. These were all characters that were uh, brought to you through so, through um, the comments section on Facebook for uh, posts I made for uh, things like that. So if you want to see other profiles, I will look at your stuff. I will build stuff you want me to see. You want to see. Um, so like, just put it out there. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So thank you. Stay alert.